Beefing up police presence in the transit system is never an easy decision, especially when it comes to the MTA. There are several factors at play, including concern over the quality of service versus rider safety. Riders need a service light, no more cops! Several rider advocacy organizations sent representatives out in the rain Tuesday night to send a message. Governor Cuomo's plan to add 500 more transit police officers to address quality of life concerns is a bad idea. $249 million in newly allocated funding, they say, that could be used to increase services by at least 15%. This costs money the MTA doesn't have, which means they'll have to make cuts wherever they can. More cops means waiting longer for a train that's too crowded to get on. We reached out to Governor Cuomo's office for comment. A spokesperson deferred to the MTA. In response to the criticism, which includes a letter Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez sent Tuesday to the governor, MTA Chairman Pat Foy released a statement in which he argues New Yorkers equally deserve reliability and safety. Quote, we are seeing vast improvements in subway on-time performance, but hate crimes have risen more than 50%. Robbery is up 11.5%. Aggravated harassment is up 167%. And the TWU has reported an increase in assaults on workers of 39%. But critics of the proposal say those are cherry-picked stats aimed at fitting the narrative of an unsafe transit system. You are increasing the likelihood that students like me and the other students of color are going to be funneled into the school-to-prison pipeline. They add more cops will simply increase over-policing in the city's black and brown communities. There is an unfairness in our system which is only exacerbated by bad decisions like this. The MTA is scheduled to vote on whether to hire those 500 officers during Wednesday's board meeting. On the east side, J. Dow, PIX11 News.